What's going on, Walking Dead fans? I just wanted to bring a quick video to all the fans of the Walking Dead TV series action figures by McFarlane about some really exciting news that I got last night uh, by way of email from Clark Toys. And if you subscribe to the newsletter of Clark Toys, they'll send you emails with uh, updates of upcoming pre-orders and pics of action figures that they carry. And last night was a doozy for Walking Dead fans. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, for the Clark Toys website so you can go out and go over there and uh, check out the pics for yourself. But fans are going to be excited. This is a stellar series. And first up, I will let you know that we are finally getting a Glenn action figure for the TV series. And it looks great. They all look great, all the uh, characters in this series. But Glenn, he looks exactly how he looked in the third season. Uh, all the characters are based off the third, third season of the TV show. And he's got the same clothing he was wearing. Um, they don't have lists of accessories on Clark Toys for him just yet, but you can see some of the accessories in the pick. He comes with the long steel pipe that he used when they assaulted the prison. It's got blood on the end of it. And he comes with a pistol that goes on his holster on his right thigh. Not his right hip, his right thigh. If you remember how he looked, his holster was right there above his kneecap. And uh, he has the pistol that goes in there. And neatest of all is he has an alternate head from how he looked when he was getting interrogated by Merle with the beat up face head skull. So I think that's really cool. It's not the basic Glenn look from series, uh, season one of the TV show, but I think fans are going to be really happy with this. Uh, we got Glenn from the comic series in series two of that line, and people that aren't a fan of the comic book and just the TV show are a little upset with it because he was bald, but that's how he was in the comic book. So. Fans of the TV series will finally be happy with this Glenn. And uh, where there's Glenn, there is Maggie. And she is the second survivor we're getting in this series. She looks phenomenal, just like the actress. Uh, the couple accessories that she comes with is that you can see in the pic are a machete from whenever they first assaulted the prison and a pistol that fits in the holster on her right thigh as well. Just like Glenn, it's not on the hip, it's on the thigh right above the knee. So that's pretty cool. Um, glad we're getting a Maggie, and she's dressed exactly how, how she looked whenever uh, season three started. And the third Survivor character in this series is, I'm very excited about it, Tyrese. And he looks exactly how he first appeared in season three. Uh, the midway point, whenever he showed up, he's got the toboggan on and everything that he was wearing. And the one accessory you can see in the pick is his big claw hammer. So it is hammer time in the action figures. So very happy to get him. And we're getting two walkers in this series as well. Uh, one of them is Merle Dixon when he turned into a zombie. And I, I guess I'm happy about this one, although... I was just going to customize uh, one of uh, the new Merle's coming out in the two-pack to look like a zombie. Other people have done it online, I've seen. Um, so, I don't know. They're getting a lot of use out of that Merle skull. A heck of a lot of, lot of use. Um, but, whatever. That's cool. It's uh, going to be the first living character from the show that turned into a zombie that they've made an action figure for him. And it looks good. He's got... Uh, the bullet shot right in the chest with the blood running down and blood running down his mouth. Um, really wild paint scheme, uh, really muddy on his kneecaps, like he's been knelt down chowing, just like he was in the show. So it's pretty cool. And the last zombie in the series, the second one, is going to be the charred zombie. And if you remember in season three, whenever... Milton burned the pits where they would capture the walkers uh, for Woodbury. Uh, those zombies that were laying at the bottom, it is going to be based off of one of those zombies. And it really looks cool. A lot of detail in it just off that prototype pit. 
So, all right, guys, that's Series 5. Uh, go over to Clark Toys. I'll put the link in the description below, and you can check out the picks for yourself. All right, guys, thanks for watching.